Okay guys, so this is the third installment in my making a dinner from unconventional places. Um, you guys are shady and the other place that you're recommended other than I thought Dollar Tree couldn't get any worse, but I think this might be worse or better. I don't know, it depends on who you ask. I'm going to be going to 7-Eleven. I know that in different countries, 7-Eleven is like a legit grocery store and you can buy some pretty cool stuff there. But in um, the States, it is not like that. It's more like a gas station convenience store type of situation. So we're going to head out and we are going to go to the closest 7-Eleven is a few miles from my house. And we are going to find some stuff to make dinner with. Hey guys, Chef Nick Peters Bond here and this is Come In Your Kitchen. On today's episode, I venture to 7-Eleven because of course, why wouldn't I go to 7-Eleven to make a dinner? Well, it was highly requested that that be my next place to go is 7-Eleven to create a dinner with. So tonight I'm going to be making you an entree and a dessert from 7-Eleven. All right, so I have these two bags here is everything I got to make a two course meal from 7-Eleven. Remember, I have oil, salt and pepper, and water to use as my freebie ingredients. And let's jump right in to see what I got. So I went to two separate 7-Elevens. It's two different bags here. One had a ton of stuff and one was way smaller and was more of like a gas station kind of like convenience store. So I went to that one first to my surprise, or not surprise, there was not much there. I got a couple things, then I went to another one down the street. It just shows my dedication to really sticking to this and just buying stuff from 7-Eleven. If you don't know what 7-Eleven is, I'm sorry. It's a great place. I used to go there a lot to get scratchies and slushies and snacks basically. But of course I'm an adult, so I'm much more mature. So I'm gonna be buying things to make dinner from obviously. First up, there was eggs. I was very excited to see that the 7-Eleven had a decent sized refrigerator section. The variety wasn't vast, but at least they had some fresh things there. So fresh, I don't know. <laughs> this is gonna be a hodgepodge of things, by the way. Soy sauce, um, chicken broth, minute rice. So this will be, a, this will be a, fast, a fast recipe, if anything. Some chipotle tequila lime flavored peanuts. Hard boiled eggs. I don't know if I'm gonna use these yet, but they're here. Spam. I've never had Spam before. And I've never cooked with Spam before, but I've seen it cooked with, and I thought, I could do that. I could, I could do something with Spam. Basically a ramen bowl. I'm gonna try and use the vegetables and the seasoning packet from this. So that was the first place, or one of the places. This is like a spicy seaweed snack. Green tea matcha pockies. Pockies I never had, but I know they're like little biscuits that are dipped in some kind of like white chocolate or something coating. Um, a bunch of croissants. This is gonna go into the dessert. Some pineapple chunks and heavy syrup. Probably necessary with the heavy syrup, but we're gonna use these. And then the last two things are two cans of a green tea bubble tea latte with tapioca pearls. These are going to go into the dessert as well. So, what am I making today with these random ingredients? Well, my thought process was I'm going to be making a spam fried rice with a green tea, matcha green tea croissant bread pudding. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. The first thing I'm going to do is pull you guys in closer. I'm going to show you hopefully a time-lapse video of me prepping all my ingredients and then we'll jump in to start cooking with it. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, so my prep is done for the fried rice. I microwaved the minute rice with the chicken broth, the vegetable packet from the ramen, and then also the seasoning packet. It's still very hot, I'm gonna let that, put that aside for now. 
I want to take some of my garlic infused olive oil from my home goods episode because oil is one of my freebies and has some flavor in there. So let's use it. And then we are going to saute ta -da -da, our diced spam. I think the key here is going to be getting some good color on the spam and really crisping it up so that we basically just tastes like render down ham and fried rice. I know that this is not traditional fried rice, but I do know that people do put spam in their fried rice. So I'm gonna let this crisp up a little bit. And then we have our um, chopped up pineapple. This is definitely giving me like Hawaiian pizza vibes. <laughs> and then some soy sauce. And then I figured for a garnish, we could do the sriracha flavored seaweed snacks and then the spicy peanuts just on top for some textural difference because you know I love a good crunch. So I'm gonna let this saute, saute up and then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients to the rice. So while the spam is popping away behind me, rendering down on the stove, I'm going to take these cute little um, ramekins that we did get at Home Goods, and I'm gonna spray them with some nonstick cooking spray. And this is gonna be the vessel for our green, matcha green tea croissant bread pudding. So you definitely wanna let your, um, by the way, it looks so appetizing. It looks like there's capers in it, but that's just the tapioca pearls let your egg custard sit in your whatever you're using, whether it's bread or whatever, for at least like 15 minutes, just to kind of get its bearings and soak into the bread. So I'm going to take the croissant green tea latte drama and put it into our ramekins. And then we are going to top them with more of the um, custard once we have them inside. And obviously you could definitely do this same thing ratio at home. I mean, I always try to do like milk and cream and then eggs, obviously, inside of a bread pudding. This works great with any kind of bread. Um, I think, I've done, it, I think I've, I've done it with cake scraps before. Um, but yeah, obviously not with matcha green tea, but I think it's gonna be good. So we'll probably put this into four of these little ramekins. I don't know that I'm necessarily gonna get the extra tapioca pearls that are floating in the bottom here. I'm gonna try just to get the green tea itself and pour that over. Some probably will end up going in, but that's okay. We'll, I've never baked <laughs> with boba before. Baking with boba, that's gonna be my new channel. All right, so these are gonna go into a 350 degree oven until they are set. So you can still have them be a little bit wiggly, but you want the most of the egg to be cooked off and most of the custard to be set. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on for about a half an hour and then we'll check them. All right, our spam is definitely crisping up. As you can see, it's getting golden brown, letting off quite a bit of fat, <laughs> which will actually be good because that'll help us crisp up our rice a little bit. So I made the whole box of minute rice, which I think you probably, well, it's actually not bad for how much is in there. And that was with one can of chicken broth, the vegetables from our ramen, and then the seasoning packet. And it actually came out really good. So I may not even need the additional soy sauce with how much salt is in this dish, but <laughs> we'll check it for flavor. Let me scrape the bottom because that seems to be a lot of the seasoning pack that kind of fell to the bottom. So that's where most of our salt and flavor is going to be. Definitely been making a lot of unconventional fried rices lately, like in my green curry fried rice that's so tasty. All right, give this a good stir, and I'm gonna let this crisp up a little bit, the rice, and then I'm going to add in our pineapple right now as well. So we're gonna let this crisp up. I'm gonna test it for seasoning, and we'll go from there. Hopefully it's not too salty. I really, the vibe I wanted was like, an elevated fried, well, I don't know about elevated, but it's a fried rice. I mean, look how much rice this was. I only spent, maybe I spent total 30 something dollars, $40 on the stuff for the dessert, which obviously you'll have leftover eggs, you'll have leftover soy sauce. Like I bought everything for it. So it just goes to show you that you can shop at 7-Eleven and you can make a meal. Believe it or not, I'm gonna be putting a little bit of soy sauce in this. I would say, it's probably like a tablespoon. I 
I'm going to let this do its thing for a couple minutes and then we're going to garnish it and finish it and we'll taste it. This actually smells so good, you guys. This is definitely something I would make again, maybe not with spam. I mean, you know what? Let's see. I don't want to judge it yet. Let's, let's see how it goes. Okay guys, so while the bread pudding is in the oven and I'm going to cook some sunny side up eggs from 7-Eleven to put on top of our fried rice spam pineapple situation. I did want to come on here real quick and thank everyone who is subscribed to my Patreon. If you're wondering our Patreon, it's basically a place where my fans or subscribers can go and you can get early access to recipes and usually behind the scenes pictures and videos and you know, all that kind of stuff. I post on the release once a week and you'll always get the recipe from each video exclusively because I don't give the amounts and stuff on my channel. So if you did want exact amounts from something, you could check it out there. And you could also check out my daughter's artwork all over the <laughs> all over our fridge. I also wanted to just make sure everyone subscribed to my channel so that when you were notified when I post new videos, if you can give this video a big thumbs up, like it, comment it, spam it, you know the drill with that already. That would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Okay, back to cooking. All right, so I'm gonna fry up some eggs for the top of our ramen, a little bit of salt, which is our freebie, as well as some cracked black pepper on top. And that is popping at me. So my little two cents for fried eggs is have a preheated pan um, and then turn them down. And then I always cover them and add a splash of water before they're almost done. And that will cook the whites that sometimes give you trouble. That'll help cook them and it won't burn the edges. I, I hate browned eggs or anything that's it's already starting to do that right here. Anything like that on my eggs. I don't really like that flavor of like caramel. Oh, and I just broke that one. That one's going to be my husband's. So I'm going to cover this, put a splash of water in, and I'll show you the final result. My little, my little chef trick. So put a splash of water in there and cover them up. And then turn off your heat and those will be perfectly cooked when you're ready to eat. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and portion some of our fried rice out. This is one of our lovely bowls that we got at Home Goods. And as you saw, I just finished up our eggs. This is the Spam Pineapple Fried Rice up close. I'm gonna put some into this bowl. And then it has some little flecks of those vegetables from the ramen packet, as well as that spam that we crisped up and some garlic infused olive oil. It has a sweet pineapple, little pieces of corn in there. I mean, listen, it's not the most vegetables I put in a fried rice, but honestly, it's just there and it's just gonna taste so delicious. You have your protein, you have some kind of vegetable, a fruit, a starch, I mean, come on, it's basically a complete meal. Who needs anything else when you have spam, really? <laughs> I wonder if this would make me a spam lover. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna continue to cook all the time with spam, but you never know. All right. Put pieces on top of the garnish like that. All right. Then we're going to take some of our seaweed, that is the sriracha flavored seaweed and some of the pineapple. Just sprinkle that on top and that's just for reinforcement of flavor as well as crunch and it looks really pretty. So that will go on there. You can put as much or as little as you want of both items. Some people really love crunchy seaweed, some people don't love it, but these peanuts were so good. I tried some off camera and they were delicious. So you can save the rest for the other. This, this made about two to three decent sized big bowls of fried rice. Our egg right on top. Oop, or on the side. <laughs> right on top right there. And there you have it. That is my Spam Pineapple Fried Rice from 7-Eleven. <laughs> We're gonna check back in for our dessert. This is the fried rice. It smells phenomenal. I think where I was smart was using the seasoning packet from the ramen and the vegetables from the ramen. <clears throat> Excuse me, and the pineapple. I think the pineapple really cuts up the saltiness of the Spam. <laughs> As well as, I'm like, like actually like, I'm literally drooling. I also can't speak ever, so what else is new? Um, and the peanuts on top are wicked spicy. The crunchy seaweed snack. I think mean, it's, it's really good. Or I, I think it will be really good. Hmm. 7-Eleven fried rice. It just comes to show you can make anything taste good, honestly. 
The egg on top from 7-Eleven, we love that. Mm. <clears throat> so if you're out there watching this, and you're just thinking, hmm, are you going to get more? My husband's getting more. He liked it. I gave him a little bit to try and he was spooked, but if you are on a budget, because this whole thing made it, it can probably make two to three good sized portions of fried rice. And obviously you'll have leftover eggs and leftover all the other stuff. You're not going to use all that on the fried rice. So yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay. So ta-da. The bread puddings have come out of the oven. They look really good. I mean, I think about the bread pudding, as long as you have some sort of bread, which in my case was a croissant, you could use, like I said, leftover cake, you could use bread, go figure, bagels, why not? English muffins, sure. Eggs, which is the, obviously the main part of making a custard and some sort of beverage, of course. Today I did not use traditional heavy cream or milk. They had that there at 7-Eleven, I will say, but I was like, you know what? Let's, let's spice it up a little bit. And then I got these Pockies, which I've been snacking on and they're delicious. And I might just put a couple on top for a garnish. I don't know, something. They just were green tea and I was like, oh, green tea bread pudding, green tea Pockies. They're very addictive by the way. Okay, so I don't know what I was gonna say, <laughs> but Hold that thought. Okay. Does these look like capers, the boba balls? A little bit. <laughs> I'll just have to mentally remind myself that this is bread pudding and it's not, um, cause the color, let's, it's green. It's green because it's from matcha. So I bake these at 350 for a half an hour. I don't know what's going on here, <laughs> but, mm. Mm. so far, everything I've made from Home Goods, Dollar Tree, and now 7-Eleven has been tasty. Like, I'm trying to bite with the little, the little, little balls in it. <laughs> hmm. This is really good. And I didn't get sugar, so I didn't add any additional sweetness. The only sweetness that was there was from the sugar inside the boba tea. Because I didn't want it to be, you know, I feel like desserts like this can become very overly sweet because you want to mask the fact that you bought everything from 7-Eleven. But in this case, I was like, you know what? Let's embrace the matcha. I guess I'll leave these on the side. You could stick them in. You could garnish them with it. You could crumble them up. I might throw out a little for the gram for a little Instagram picture. I might chop some up and sprinkle some on a plate and make them look fancy. And I'll insert those pictures right after this. I can't stop eating it. The croissant was a good choice also because they're super buttery, it's flaky, a little sweet already. So that was just good thinking on my part. Yeah. <laughs> so that is today's episode of Committing Your Kitchen. I'm having a lot of fun and I find it very challenging in a good way to do these challenges where I go to unconventional places and make something from them. <laughs> so today we made our Hawaiian spam fried rice with a green matcha green tea croissant bread pudding from 7-Eleven. I also have not said scared or shook once in this whole video. So that's another, that's also great. And I also didn't say stunning. So those are two things that people were saying, you say that all the time. And I was like, okay, <laughs> let me live. I'm gonna keep eating these. And if you want full recipes for things that I make on this channel, you can check out my Patreon page. And also you can follow me on Instagram at Chef Nick Peters Bond, as well as most of my social media is at Chef Nick Peters Bond. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, comment, like, spam me, the whole, you know, all that stuff helps me out in the long run. So I really appreciate it. 
And as always, you got this. Bye, Felicia. So on today's video... <laughs>